and now i'm going to teach how to make how to make my piano app so first uh, we can open the platform called code.org i've already opened it and signed in so so we are going to click on create and click on app lab so now we'll wait till it loads and now here we have three partitions code design and data this this mobile screen is called the run screen and the blocks over here are, is called the are called the blocks and this is called the workspace so in the three partitions code design and data we are going to click on design so when you'll see theme uh, you'll see the default so click on the drop down and then we can choose any theme we like and i'm going to choose the color so the uh, id of the screen one we can change so now we are going to take button and change its and the uh, we are going to change the id to note a and the text we are going to put it as nothing why are we going to put the id as note a because in coding it will help a lot so now the width we are going to keep it as at least uh, 74 to keep it thin and the height oh, <laughs> the, and now we are going to keep the height as uh, 184 you can put it as long as we like and how much ever small we like we can put it that much small or else maybe we can put the height as 360 and maybe the width as 65 why are we doing the height and width because we need a uh, buttons to look like the piano keys so now we are going to take uh, another button or else after the id on a few distance we will see delete and duplicate so we are going to click on duplicate so now we have the same height and width and the same color another key we have got and again we are going to duplicate it and keep it right beside on the right side and again duplicate and we will keep it on the right side and then again duplicate and then we'll again keep it on the right side and if we like we can even keep it too close or we can keep it on a big distance so now like you can see the id of this button is no tick but for the other it is button three four five and all so the id will keep it as node b node b and for the third one we will keep the id as node c and for the next one we are going to keep the id as node d node d node d and for the last one we are going to keep it as note e note e and now in the three partitions we are going to click on code like you can see we have code design and data right now we were designing and now the designing is done so now we are going to click on code so we are going to drag and drop the uneven block from the ui controls 
from the UI controls and put it on the workspace on the first line and on event we are going to see ID so there will be a drop down I'm going to click on the drop down to get more options like note A, note B, note C, note D and note E and screen 1 so we are going to click on note A so this means on event note A click it means when the when the note A is clicked then it should play this play any sound so we are going to scroll down and take play sound url loop url the url part means the link of the sound and the loop means true and false if you are going to click on true it the voice will uh, come repeatedly and if you are going to click on false then the voice or the sound will come only once so play sound drop down and choose so here we'll have lots of sounds ascent uh, ascent achievements alert animals app and background so we can take any of them let's see what's an app so we have these all maybe we will take uh, maybe we'll take animals and we'll maybe we'll take b bus and click on choose we are going to click on run and run means as soon as we are going to click on run and click on the note a we'll hear the sound but without running if you're going to click on not a nothing is going to happen so we are going to click on run and click on not a so now the buzzing b sound has come so we can copy paste it we just have to go a little bit far from the code and drag it and then a big box we are going to do Control c for copy and Control v for paste and then on event when note b is clicked then it should it can play sound as cartoon feature and choose so run now again we will copy Control c for copy Control v for paste so now when note c is clicked and for the other one when note d is clicked play sound choose and animals maybe cat choose so run when note c is clicked on event note d is clicked then it should it can play sound as dinosaur d for dinosaur and then we will copy paste again Control c for copy Control for paste and now when note e is pressed it it can play sound as we are going to click on bell and maybe bells underscore win underscore high and p3 so run that was the dinosaur and uh, when this when I see. so that's all about uh, that is how how to make how to make my piano and you can even rename it click on rename and then delete the untitled project and now we are going to rename the project as my piano My piano by your name. Okay. And now we are going to click on save. So it will be saved in your account next time you open it. Till then, 